Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about dieting. So I decided that since my husband and I are getting ready to um, start a lifestyle change, so to speak, that I would do like a video diary. I think it will help me and I'm hoping that it will help you too. And if you have any uh, encouraging words for me or anybody else that might read the feed, feel free to post anything and um, maybe we can do this journey together. So I want to start out by letting you know that for some time, several months, my husband and I have been trying to figure out how we want to go about losing some weight. And by doing this, we would also have a lifestyle change. We wanted to both be on the same plan. Uh, there's been times where I've been on one plan and he's been on another and it just doesn't work out that way. I feel that if we're both on the same plan, it's easy for us to fix dinner for one thing and also encourage each other. So what plan is that? Well, let me give you a little bit of my history and a little bit of my husband's history. My husband actually, you know, growing up, he was way not overweight. He was an athlete, um, and he he was probably in high school. Uh, I know he was five ten, five eleven, and probably weighed about one hundred and seventy pounds. So he was um, not a very big person. He was probably average for high school at that time. Me, I also was not very big. Uh, I'm five foot four. And I was always about 100 pounds. I was a dancer. And um, after I grew up and graduated from high school, I went off to college, and that's what I majored in. And um, I taught um, aerobics in the 80s, and uh, I was on um, several um, dance companies when I was in college. So I was active and small. <laughs> okay, so then my husband and I get married and we want to start a family. And it took us five years to be able to get our first child. Um, I was plagued with several miscarriages. And um, so we had a child and 17 months later we had another child. And then it was three years before we were able to have our last two children which were 20 months apart. And during those pregnancies I had a little bit of bed rest. So I wasn't able to exercise uh, during that time. After I had uh, the first two children, I went to Weight Watchers, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, and was able to lose some weight. And um, anyway, I gained it back. <laughs> and uh, after my um, third child, actually after my, yeah, my third child, I wound up having some hip issues. Just walking, uh, it would go out and I would fall. So exercise was not in the plans for me. So I wound up packing on the weight. Not a ton. I never gained more than 30 pounds with any of my pregnancies. It was hard to get rid of that weight. But um, right now I need to lose about 20 pounds. So I'm catching it before it gets too out of control for me. All right, so what plans have I used? Um, weight Watchers. That's what I used uh, the first time was tried, when I tried to lose some weight. Very successful in that, but I did gain the weight back. Um, I, I tried Weight Watchers again several years later, but they had changed the program to a point system. And because I needed to um, lose less than 50 pounds, I was at the lowest point available for me. Uh, I am hypoglycemic, by the way, so that... That is something I'm plagued with. But I was hungry, starving to death all the time on the new Weight Watchers program. So that didn't work out. Uh, Nutrisystems, I tried that. But again, um, I mean, I lost 15 pounds. I did pretty well, but I was not enjoying the food. And the main thing I didn't like about it was that I still had a family to feed. I had four children and a husband. And... Um, it was hard for me to make their food 
and then eat the crappy food I was getting. So that didn't work out. Another program I used was LA Weight Loss, and I was very successful with that. But a couple of things happened. I, I kept the weight off for uh, several years, but I wound up uh, in the hospital with um, a PE and a DVT, which that is blood clots in the lung and in my legs. And I was in ICU for about five days and I was put on a blood thinner and a special diet, which meant the diet was no uh, good vegetables. I couldn't eat spinach, kale, lettuce, you know, anything like that. So guess what? I gained 15 pounds. And I remember talking to my doctor about it, begging him to take me off of Coumadin because I was gaining weight. He says, oh, you don't gain weight on on blood thinners and I'm like the blood thinners aren't the things that make you gain weight it's the diet you have to be on that caused me to gain the weight eventually I was able to get off of that but my weight did not disappear and I was already in a bad habit of eating improperly so that was about 10 years ago and um, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do now now, another diet I tried a while back was Atkins. And um, I did that for a couple of weeks. And not being a big meat eater, I, I just really had a hard time with it. But funny thing is, that's the plan that my husband and I have decided to go with. And a lot has changed. You know, I guess it's been probably a good 15 years that I had tried Atkins. And if you do Atkins right, you do eat vegetables. You, you do eat, um, you do have to have some good carbs, but like salad doesn't have a whole lot of carbs in it, but salad is really good for you too. It's the pastas and the breads and the cookies and the candies that on Atkins you cannot have. And you know, that's a good thing because none of us should really be loading ourselves up with that type of um, food. So one of the reasons that we decided to do the Atkins is because lately I see all these delicious recipes uh, coming up on my Facebook feed. They're all keto. And as I look at them, I'm thinking I might actually be able to do an Atkins slash keto because some of the recipes do not have meat in them at all. There's a broccoli, cream of broccoli soup that looks really good. And there's some other uh, kale soup that looked really good. So I'm going to actually try it. I'm going to give it 30 days. So hopefully I will be successful. We started this two days ago. I've lost two pounds. I know a lot of that is water, which that's normal. My husband's lost three pounds. <laughs> Go figure. I know he's going to probably shed the weight a lot quicker than I am. But um, I, I'm not doing any more activity than I do already. I, I dance three days a week. I may uh, ramp up my yoga a little bit, but other than that, I'm just going to watch what I eat, make sure I, I eat healthy. So I will keep you posted um, along the way. Like I said, let me know your journey. Do you have any hints for me? Also, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.